love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No show. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100, and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Stat Baby, along with your hosts, Cam and Mace. What up, killer? Oh, yeah. Play ball today, man. You, know, you try to injure me, you know. That's why I don't go out there and play with niggas. <laughs> oh. Man, nigga Larry, I, I seen what was going on. So, yeah. man, I, we, we played basketball today. We ain't playing. I haven't seen Mace play in years. And he still got handled. Shit was, he was looking good. I'm like, oh, he can still <laughs> do that. <laughs> and, nigga and, Larry, who ain't glow. All I seen was Mace Fall, but he was on <laughs> offense, so yeah. I don't know what happened, what happened Larry. That nigga Larry, <laughs> he was falling and he couldn't stop his fall. Oh, right. And the nigga fell on me as I was jumping, and then I fell on my side. I think the nigga broke my rib, yo. <laughs> Yeah, you was playing. Yeah, the I was playing with in no the Crocs socks. with no socks. You, you, I tried to go Tyree yeah, Hill you, on him. <laughs> let him know I'm from Florida. We do it without <laughs> falls without the socks, nigga. <laughs> you was playing. I, I was kind of good in Crocs. You was in Crocs. Shout out to Boogie, Boogie Cousins, too. We seen him in there today, too. Shout yeah, out Boogie. Shout man. out to Boogie. He said he's coming on the show soon, so we're going to make that happen. Oh. Okay. Stephen A. Smith ranks the Lions as the number one team in the NFL. They have a five to one record, and this is their best start since 2011. So, do you agree with putting them at one, or is there another team right off the bat that you think should be there? Well, you can't ask me this because they only five and one, you know, and my team is still five and one. I don't know who Cam's team is, but he said, it, "Let me, let me, let me deal with this." Because Stephen <laughs> A. says that this is the number one team. He says. They can run the ball, they can pass the ball, they're physical, and their defense is serious. What about Miami? Miami can run the ball, they can pass the ball. Every team in football is physical. What do you mean physical? Every team in football is physical. And then he said about the defense. So I'm not here to debunk what Stephen A. says, Pauls, but but there's other teams that that's number one. I'm going with Kansas City. I'm going to be consistent. So they lose. I like, I like Stephen <laughs> until, A. Until they lose, then, then it's, <laughs> you won't fuck with Kansas City. It's, it's like four of the teams that's five and one, right? The Eagles are five and one. Um, the Dolphins are five and one. 49. The 49ers is five and one. What makes them this? Because but I, I will add, though, the Lions did beat the Chiefs for that Thursday night football game at the beginning. We will <laughs> underestimate them niggas. <laughs> Okay. You know, you playing in Detroit. Who knows? You just had this convo <laughs> about Millbank yesterday. It's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It's Niggas just, lost to Millbank. Yeah, <laughs> the just, players. Yeah, Jingling them. <laughs> Jingling them. Jingle your phone. Somebody going to tell yeah, Jingle Jingle soon. them in my phone today. Jingle said, yo, oh, you spoke tell, to him? tell Cam stop playing with my name on, on oh, national television. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> yo, Jingle, you know it's a fact, though. You was the best player on the players. Slim, coach y'all straight out of Lincoln Project, stinking Lincoln. So I respect what y'all was trying to do but you know the only people who make it from that type of environment where you gotta sell candy bars to get y'all uniforms is Damian Lillard anybody <laughs> <laughs> else so, uh, you, yo my side yo <laughs> Damian Lillard uh, is, the, is the only person who makes it from them type of teams where you gotta sell candy <laughs> bars to get y'all uniform when, it, uh, when I say sell candy bars uh, when the light turn green so you're ready you be like come on man just buy some <laughs> M&M's man and trying to help the team out <laughs> Jingles that's your environment they slimming them niggas you know y'all play y'all ain't even playing on tournaments y'all play Stone Gym. Uh, maybe y'all may have liked that playing city. They might have been the first water boys. Yeah, yeah, man. So, Jing, you know you my nigga. I fuck with you, but I don't yeah. know who y'all beat. I don't really know. Pause. Um, back to the original topic. Um, I don't know. I told Nick to save it. I said I have the Lions going to the NFC Championship. Oh, my goodness. Can't stop. Nick, 
Did I Stop say that? that again. I, I just, I yeah, said, yeah. I, even Stats said, I don't, I don't remember, remember that. that. <laughs> Yo, even Stats said, I'm paying, I'm paying you extra, I don't Nick. remember that. I'm paying you not extra, <laughs> Nick, to find when I said that the Lions are going to the Yo, NFC Championship. Nigga, I promise I said that. I said, I liked this like two weeks ago. I said, I like the Lions a lot. And, they're going, and then you was like, maybe it was OJ. Yeah, it was, it was OJ. OJ. And he was like, over Philly? Over in San Francisco, and I say yes. So I'm not saying that the Lions are the best team in football right now, but what I'll say is this. Whoever wins their conference has an automatic playoff spot, and they're going to win the conference. The Packers stink, the Vikings stink, the Bears stink. So no matter what, yeah, you're right. they're going to win the conference, which gives them an automatic playoff spot no matter what. And once you get to the playoffs, you get to the playoffs. Now who are we looking at? Philly, who has not played a good game yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're still 5 and 1, but they haven't played a good game yet. 49ers, I put them ahead Are of, you I, saying the Lions going to beat the 49ers? I didn't say that. I said, oh, okay. I, I was just about to say, I put the 49ers still ahead of the Lions. But they might if everybody stay hurt. Debo but stay hurt. Still a lot of time. We still got fucking 12 weeks left for the regular season. But um, I'm looking at the NFC right here and. I'm just looking at the 49ers and possibly uh, Philly. Outside of that, I don't really see anybody who's better than the Lions in the NFC outside of those two teams. Buccaneers just lost. We know the Saints ain't doing shit. We just said everybody in their division. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cooper Cup just got back for the Rams. We'll see what they do. They're three and three. Seahawks. You just yeah, dis- they can get there. You just dis- Geno Smith said he's yeah, an average quarterback. <laughs> they um, can get there. I believe outside of Philly and, and the 49ers, I think there's a foregone conclusion that the Lions are at least the third best team in the NFC, period. That's so cool. I'm They'll not, get there. I'm not saying, and, and I'm, of course I'm not counting the Cowboys or <laughs> they definitely, nobody. Only I'm not counting anybody in the NFC East except for the Eagles. Um, I only see the 49ers and possibly the Eagles, but I would put the the, the Lions at number two right now, right yeah. behind the 49ers. And I'm not going to put them against AFC teams because we need yeah. they need the Lions been so yeah, bad yeah. For, for so long. Focus on your conference. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not start diving into Kansas City and uh, Miami and Buffalo. Yeah, stay in your conference. And when and 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 not just your conference, win your division, then try and get to the conference championship, then worry about the AFC. But all right, I'm happy for you. I thought you was gonna jump off the ledge with that. With what? With with beating any one of those teams. I'm glad you know it's an AFC. Um, the whole thing league. is you don't know which team is in which conference race. I, you, you just said you, it. You, I know, but I asked you the other day. You said you don't concern yourself with the NFC. Because <laughs> I'm an AFC. I said I grew that, up AFC. Yeah, so, but I asked you who's going to be in the championship. You didn't even want to make a pick for I that. Did. So you, you didn't. Did. You didn't. You we actually, can go back to the table. <laughs> we could. Because, <laughs> I asked you who's in the NFC. You just, you, you, I think you said Philly because you thought who was in the Super Bowl last year. No, no, I didn't do that. Well, let's go back to the tape, Nick. It's more money, Nick, <laughs> for the five more footage of me making a pick in the NFC. But like I said, I definitely wouldn't go best team in football, but I would go second best team in the NFC conference. Okay. So you have them second best team, and then your first is going to stay at the Chiefs. Yeah. Okay. Where do you have them in the NFC? Huh? Where do you have them in the NFC conference? Apple and the NFC. Where do you think the Lions rank? Not overall, the NFL and who do, um, who do you think in the NFC? I think they're second. I think they're second after the, the Eagles. Do you think the Eagles are ahead of the 49ers? No, I think the Eagles the Eagles will be better than the Lions. I would, I'm not ready to jump on that bandwagon. I get you, but who's your first team in the NFC? I'm saying who? who I would have to go with either the Eagles or the 49ers. But, and, I'm not, but you think both them teams are better than yeah. the Lions? All right, that's what yeah. I was like. All right. Okay. Moving along. Just keep playing. With, just keep playing you with your something. face like that. <laughs> just keep playing with your face. The boy. fix is in. The fix is in. See on the camera. I have it right here because it's supposed to be on the light. You know. But yeah. go ahead. 
Yeah, you need that. The fix is in. Hey, <laughs> it is. There is a Chargers fan by the name of Marianne Doe who is going viral for her crazy reactions during the game. She was showed on TV multiple times, <laughs> and people think she was hired as a fake fan. She's denied being an actor and said she's just passionate. But how do you feel, one, about the hate comments that she's getting, and then two, what do you think about the situation and people pl putting her as an industry plant? An industry plant? How do you become an <laughs> industry plant in football? What is, um, how um, does that work? I'm looking at her because I didn't even... She just be making the faces <laughs> all the time. But then they're saying she's a fake fan. I wouldn't go as far as saying oh, she's a fake fan. I've seen, seen Plaz posted this. Yeah, but I think <laughs> she definitely knew she was going viral. Yeah, Plaz posted this. She definitely was trying to go viral. It. I've just seen it. And once you know people are watching you... It's like Desmond Howard did. Once you know people are watching you, you do more stuff to just make TV time. I dig it. Um, free tickets. Free tickets. Absolutely. Um, they just we're running out of shit to talk about. Like, yeah, I don't know why. And this she's is in news. San Diego, so you know those tickets are hard to come by. So she definitely got some season tickets just for doing that. I would agree with you. It's just that they don't play in San Diego anymore, Mace. I'm just telling you. They're, they're in L.A., actually. They're <laughs> not in San Diego anymore. I know you're from San Diego. You probably grew up. <laughs> you was you, used to them being in San Diego. But I'm sorry. Just so you know, they're actually in L.A. now. They're not in San Diego. I associate them with San Diego. I, I'm not mad at you. That but was a genius mistake. <laughs> I, I get it. But <laughs> she's in L.A. Just, okay. just so our viewers aren't confused. <laughs> That she's in San, she's actually in LA. Maybe she's from San Diego. Dude. Maybe she's from San Diego. <laughs> Maybe so. I know her from San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that uh, uh, this is reaching like far as news. This isn't really news. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people who have a lot of reactions who don't make television. They, look, we're showing Taylor Swift more than we're showing Travis Kelsey. The fuck, I mean, they just pick and choose what they want to put on the fucking television what's going to get ratings, what's going to get clicks, so on and so forth. Um, what I will say is she's not helping them win games, all right? This is not helping them win any games because the Chargers are, what, two and three? Something like that. Uh, they just lost to the fucking Cowboys. Pissed yeah. me off with that That's shit. They're about three and three. So you, maybe this is a, to divert the L.A. Charger fans to make people realize that they're not winning and they're not and I, I fucking love their quarterback. And yeah, that's what I was going to say. How long do you keep saying a quarterback is so good and they don't win? Yeah, like I think he's a good quarterback. Um, you don't win, though. I mean, I, I had a lot of expectations coming into the season. For the last two seasons, the Chargers had great expectations, but they're just not producing. And I don't know whose fault it is because I'm kind of like Mason when it comes to the Chargers at this point. Um, I'm not going to spend my time yeah. <laughs> watching you and you're disappointed. I'd rather watch the Lions and see what's, what's transpiring there, especially being that Detroit's been a drought with the Lions so long. I'm talking about this before Barry Sanders. Uh, them fans are starving for some wins. That's why they're hitting us up, talking about why y'all not talking about the Lions, why y'all not talking about the Lions. And you know what? They deserve to be talked about, but this is how y'all set yourself up for a bad heartbreak. It is... And look, I just read it off. I think y'all will make it out of y'all division. But you got 12 weeks left for football. I'm gonna, I know what, y'all want attention? You got it. I'm going to look at y'all's schedule. I'm going to look at y'all's schedule. Now, I don't know how easy y'all schedule is, but if y'all got any of these AFC teams that we were talking about, shit might not be that nice. Don't set yourself up for failure. Pray for the best. Prepare for the best. What is it? Hope, hope, hope for the best. Prepare, Prepare for the, for the worst. worst. <laughs> so, y'all <laughs> niggas been fucked up for years playing every Thanksgiving <laughs> on Thursday. I don't know why, but y'all get the Thursday Thanksgiving games for years. I am rooting for y'all. My man Jalen Rose and everybody else out there who's Lions fans, this looks like the most promising year, especially how y'all ended, end, ended the year last year. It was really good last year. But don't build yourself up for this bullshit that may happen. Y'all going to get to the playoffs because your division sucks. But, uh, yeah, I have more yeah. stories. I'd rather watch the Lions than the fucking Chargers. Mm -hmm. And now we're focusing on a fan instead of the actual game because he 
<laughs> is it, this is news? Okay. We just had a nigga snoring coke in the stands yesterday. That was news. Yeah, that's news. <laughs> you snoring coke live. <laughs> that's news. So I'm not going to make a big issue of this. Right. And then as far as the Lions schedule, next they play the Ravens and the Raiders and the Chargers and the Bears. So actually, they have some pretty, I'm going to say, easier games. Who they play next? Ravens, then the Raiders, then the Chargers, then the Bears. That will seems oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> um, I ain't going to do that to my man Lamar, though. You know? Yeah. Even though they're seeming inconsistent. Yeah, you, yeah, if they get to 9-1, and one, they might be looking really good. Moving along, an incarcerated man by the name of Rashid had a $10,000 bond to post. So his solution was to place a bet on a 16 money line parlay featuring the Rams, Jets, Raiders, Liberty, Bills, and Lions. He was able to cash out for over $13,000 and was released. How do you feel about the solution? <laughs> underdog fantasy, yeah, underdog baby. fantasy got him out. <laughs> underdog fantasy <laughs> gets you out of all type of shit, man. <laughs> Locked up, <laughs> underdog fantasy. Backed up on child support. <laughs> underdog fantasy. You want to take a bitch out of town? Underdog fantasy. And you got potential to win 200000 and go to Miami to see a game. You got Ice Spice a bitch, you know, <laughs> on that Jordan Poole type shit one time. You got a lot of options for underdog fantasy. Back to the original topic. I thought it was genius. Look, when you're in jail, a lot of people forget about you. You're definitely written off. I don't know how much time he had. Yeah. I don't know what kind of crime he was facing or what was going on. But if your bill was ten thousand, mm -hmm. that means it was a hundred thousand, and he needed ten percent. Hundred thousand means you did something. Yeah, he did something serious <laughs> you, too. You did something for a hundred thousand. It wasn't like his his bond was a thousand. You know, it'd be ten thousand dollar bond. You needed that. You could probably call and get a thousand. Yeah. When she get up to ten, you like. There's a few people that you have to yeah. call. Yeah, then, then what happens is you be like, he ain't coming home. I ain't got to deal yeah, with that Yeah, there's nigga. somebody you thought had the money. Right. Don't so, come through for you. Hey, man, listen, that was a great gamble. I don't know how much he spent to get the 10. You know, he might. some niggas might have gave him 500. Yeah. Y'all, he go just take this towards it. Like, this ain't cutting it. Yeah. And But the winner, Paul Lay, we just, you know, Duke been winning Paul Lay the last day. Duke, Duke bet $5. How much you want? <laughs> Two hundred? <laughs> five you want two hundred dollars? yo dog, that's that's a, like uh that's like a two thousand percent flip. Yeah, he probably got home after betting everybody money and niggas wanted their cut. <laughs> he placed five hundred dollars. Yeah. Five hundred and got thirteen thousand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's up your parlays be parlaying. Uh. <laughs> Larry don't like the parlay. Duke, you like the parlay? <laughs> you know when I was growing up, parlay used to mean let's chill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you want parlay? <laughs> I want parlay with you. Listen, man, more power to you. Congratulations, you got out. And uh, don't fuck up that three thousand trying to parlay everything that yeah, you got left real. over. Because most likely, what happens is he might go on the run. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going back to court. <laughs> Depending on what the charges is, he may he may go on the run. If he, if he won 13000 he probably going to try to double down. Yeah, that's what I'm he saying. think his luck is good. And if he fuck up the three, he's not going back to court. Cause <laughs> he's only bailed out. That means you got to go back to court. You know, <laughs> we'll leave the story here because we don't know yeah, where it's going to end right. at. Oh, we'll see what happens. Moving along, Terrell Owens was hit with a car after an argument during a pickup basketball game. Following the game, the guy drove his car into his knee, but luckily he didn't require any medical attention. Interesting, because y'all just said y'all played a pickup basketball game. I wasn't today. there. Mace, so, Mace was there. Thoughts on wow. the situation. Wow. They did this to him. Who they? They. Yeah. They. Oh, yep. They, yeah. Oh, this <laughs> payback? <laughs> oh, you put a hit out on T. Nah, yeah. I ain't put no. <laughs> Yo, you put a hit My out on T. My ribs are <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. When you said wait. they, that's no, I mean. nice. <laughs> You put your niggas on them. <laughs> no, no, T.O., we hope you get better. But listen to this. You know, 
somebody, I saw something in the chat where people were asking other people, they were like, yo, this this the same thing happened to Mace, right? And then they was trying to put it on me. That's why I said they being funny. But, you well, know. No, nah, I didn't uh-uh. do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <all right. laughs> they ain't do it. Not my day, but they. Okay. It's another day. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much of a change man you are. I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> wait. Uh, uh, wait, wait. My ribs are hurt. Yo, boy. Yo, no, thinking about it, I'm I'm trying not to laugh, but and I'm not it's not funny that TO TO got hurt. But some people take these pickup games serious. That's kind of what I went through the day. I was driving to the basket. And this nigga named Larry just fouls me so crazy because he couldn't check me. And I think that's probably what happened at the game. T.O. probably was balling. He probably was probably winning or losing. And then the guy just was like, yo, foul me again. And he didn't take it serious. You know, some people get really irritated about that. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, man. Um, well, we hope you get well, T.O. We definitely hope you get well. Just playing around, but we hope you get well. I don't believe you. That sounds like a disclaimer. <laughs> one, of your dis- <laughs> one of your disclaimers. <laughs> Listen, what I'll say about this is T.O., my man, of course, I, I, big shot T.O., I don't want no yeah, like, shit to happen to T.O. Hit like, him with a car on his knee. That's, like, really reckless. But th- this is what I'm going to say about the situation. So I have a few things to say about this thing. It's a couple things. You are taking, I don't know who is playing, but when you play at these 24-hour fitnesses and these pickup gyms, you are taking a big risk. Yeah. Or because you have no idea if these people know how to play real basketball, if they know the rules, if they know how to foul, how to slide their feet, what they consider a foul, what they consider not a foul. When you go to these pickup gyms, especially 24 hour fitness, uh fucking, I can't think of other gyms. When you go to these places, everybody's not a real basketball player, so they don't know how to play. Yeah. And TO, from what I've been learning like basketball better than football from what I heard. Mm-hmm. And he considers himself a He's good basketball He's very basket- passionate about playing. Yeah, I don't know how good he is. I, you know, He's athletic. You know how people, when they're wide receivers, they super athletic. He could jump. Wayne, Wayne Fletcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was, that goes to my point. Yeah. T.O., I don't know if he could fight or not fight or whatever, but he's in wild shape. And if you talk shit, Niggas like, I'm not fighting T.O. in here. I, I bet. Because <laughs> a nigga could have popped the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some niggas be on some, I bet. You, so, outside? So you saying it's better he got hit by a car? I'm trying to say you got you don't know who you're dealing with. Yeah. When you talk your shit in the gym, you don't know what's going to happen when yeah, you get outside the gym. Yeah, he's very passionate. He's yeah. very passionate. Some niggas, now listen, some niggas not even going to argue with you. Some niggas are like, say that. Uh, oh, we could go outside, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Say blah. less. Bet, we're going to go outside. And uh-huh. when I'm in them situations, me personally, not not even basketball, clubs, like, you know, go to clubs. I don't really go to clubs like I used to. But we get in a fight in the club, and if we get the best of you in the club and you leave first, I'm leaving right after you. Yeah. Hey, they, y'all got it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm not staying in the Come club. Come back like menace to society. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not letting you leave before I leave. Now, I don't have know how this, that, this situation transpired, mm-hmm. but... For homeboy to have to drop on him in the car, it seemed like he was waiting yeah, for him to mean come outside. Yeah, that means there's more to this story. It and, gotta be more to right, this story. And what happens is T.O., because he's T.O., you're like, nigga, ain't that stupid. You nigga, know I'm on TV. Yeah, yeah I'm telling him, I don't know, ain't gonna do that. And some niggas like, I don't care who you are. Yeah, I don't care who you are. And secondly, it's nobody, and you don't have an owner or a GM or yeah. nobody coming to save you. I hope you saved up your money, but uh, it ain't like Jerry Jones is coming to save you. It isn't like your GM's coming to save you. So now you're basically a pedestrian yeah. out there. You're a regular person because you don't have a team or associate with anybody to where you're in the gym a, playing. A brand. A brand, and therefore yeah. they're going to treat you like you don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you was T.O. that played for the 49ers or Cowboys or Eagles, they'll, be like, they'll think about it. Like, Nigga wouldn't have hit him with yeah, the car. Exactly. He definitely wouldn't have hit him with the exactly. car. Exactly. So, and, I, and I think another thing that that – superstars and and former superstars have to remember that when you go in these places like there's some people 
that are looking to make a name off you. Right, They're absolutely. Looking, they they want to be the person to say, I did this to so-and-so. Right, absolutely. So that's why you were speaking to that fact that you can't be running in no 24-hour fitness and and playing ball. And, and, and after today... I'm not playing with niggas. <laughs> I'm only playing with niggas I know and play because Larry is bar. Larry just can rebound for me. Larry can't play. No defense on me. Shout out to Larry out in Vegas. Y'all know the nigga? Yeah, that Larry. nigga right there. That's Larry, the one who found me. <laughs> now imagine me crossing this nigga right here. <laughs> he he put, said I was doing too much. He put a solo on Larry just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to just be careful. Um, in these gyms, man, especially yeah. if, if you don't know you're dealing with or the personality you're dealing with. Be careful, them niggas leave early. The clubs, gyms, yeah. no matter else. I wouldn't let it. If I had an altercation and I see a nigga leaving, I'm leaving too. Yeah, and, and when you when you like rich, you just play play with the people you know, man. Play in their back, and if they got a gym in their house or a court behind their house, just play there. It's not it's not worth it, especially for somebody to hit you with a car. That's crazy. It is a crazy situation, and it's annoying because when you do stuff like that, you mess it up for everybody. Because I know like Adam Sandler was doing pickup games and stuff like that. Like people like that's lit. People want to play games like that, but when you start doing all this extra stuff, messes it up for everybody. But Good to know you're okay. We're going to go to break. And when we return, we will talk about the Texans versus the Saints. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Why am I here this woman? Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. On Sunday, the Falcons will play the Bucks. Underdog fantasy has Desmond Ritter at 203 and a half passing yards. Do you have him higher or lower? Mm. Let me think about that because I like to be right. Okay. What'd you think, Killa? I ain't thinking about it. <laughs> Yo, how are you going to ask me? <laughs> you going to say, let me think about it, <laughs> then say, let me ask you. <laughs> be honest with you I haven't really been keeping up with the Falcons um, let's just go higher go higher he's from the Falcons he's a land now. Atlanta now I'm going lower I'm going lower higher okay Drake London is at 49 and a half receiving yards do you have him higher or lower Cam I'm going to go higher yeah Tampa Bay just got torched their defense just got torched Okay. And Baker Mayfield is at 222 and a half passing yards. Do you have him higher or lower? Ohio. I'm going to look out higher. What, what Ohio got to do? Is Baker from Ohio? What the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> I got to Google where Baker Mayfield from. Texas. Hey, what the fuck is... <laughs> What team he play for? Bucks. Baker. Huh? Baker. Oh. Florida, Mace. Higher. <laughs> Florida, bro. <laughs> he used to play for Ohio, right? Deshaun Watson came and ended all that shit. From he's from uh he's playing in our hometown. Tampa Bay. I'm gonna go high. I think I think Baker Mayfield's having a decent year. Um didn't play good last year. I'm gonna go. I think he'll bounce back. I think when he shuts up and stops trying to be in the media and talking too much, it took him a while to grow up. And the NFL humbled him a lot. And this year he's been kind of quiet and hasn't been talking a lot. And he's been playing decent. Stay out the media and stop talking shit. And kind of like Geno Smith last year, he crept up on people and did decent. And I think that's where Baker Mayfield is at now. So I'm gonna go higher. Make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. Mm -hmm. 
So moving along, the Texans beat the Saints 20 to 13 with their rookie quarterback, C.J. Stroud. How do you feel about this game and how Stroud has been playing? Um, in the beginning of, in the beginning of the season, I, I said he would be one of the ones that play kind of good. I didn't have him over Richardson, but I definitely think that he's he's playing decent for for a rookie quarterback, being that he got what about like 1,600 something yards, then let me look at it. He he doesn't have that many interceptions, so he's playing pretty cool, but he got to get the QBR up. You know, I really only start paying attention to quarterbacks when they get over 100 in their QBR, you know, so that's why sometimes it don't look like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't care to explain something when a, when a guy's not that good. You, you come to me for the facts about great players. But I, I choose to chime in on this one. What do you think, Cam? I don't really care about neither one of these teams, man. Like, <laughs> Saints ain't really shit. <laughs> Texans ain't really that good. Um, but didn't Carr used to be good? What's good? What are they, what are they good? You putting them with Geno now? I always did. I never really, you know... He had a cool name, Derek Carr. Like, like <laughs> where'd he win? Like, he never really won anything. Like, it isn't like he's fucking been to a Super Bowl or, you know, he's been to all pro and all that, but yeah. he's never really won anything. If he was that important, he wouldn't have got rid of the Raiders wouldn't have got rid of him. Secondly, I don't like when niggas start crying in the middle of the season. Yeah. Derek Carr was crying last year and shit, talking about, I want niggas to take it more seriously. And this team means a lot. All that when you about to get traded and shit going left, all them teams <laughs> start coming out. <laughs> so, uh, the Texans, I'm looking here, he had 199 yards. He he, he was, CJ Stroud, he was 13 for 27, which means he wasn't even 50%. Why are we, why are we talking about this? It's like a thing. People are talking about yeah, they're how talking about him. basically mainly how CJ Stroud got like two he, you know, he's he's getting a few touchdowns every game. He's kind of consistent through the game. Well, he also had the record for most pass attempts without an interception for his opening. Yeah. So like for him out of all basically the people who have been drafted, he's been like the number one. The whole shit is And that's just cuz Richardson is hurt though. The whole shit is before we get back to that is that you know, we got to look at these stats when we talk about them. He has the most pass attempts, not completions, <laughs> not practice, <laughs> not the most completions, the most attempts. Why are we giving niggas props on the most pass attempts? Now, if we both said the most pass attempts and completions, cool. Nigga didn't say the most completions. That's like a nigga yeah. pause, just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. Yeah. Yo, 70 yeah. shots. That nigga be getting shots, though. He put up shots every minute, man. He put up them. He got the most shot attempts. I don't be giving props for them type of stats. That is not a... But 60% completion is kind of... His, what is completion rate is about 59, 60? Well, I know one thing. He didn't have 50% last game. I'm looking at last game. And he was 13 for 27, which means he was under 50% last game. QBR 47.4, uh, two touchdowns, one interception. I don't really see what's dazzling. Now, maybe I'm just going off this last game and I haven't been paying attention, but their record is three and three. Yeah. Um, sorry, fellas. I'd rather talk about Detroit. <laughs> like, I, I see why the, I see why you lying fans are mad. I, I get it. <laughs> they want us to bring this shit up, and y'all niggas and just not talk about y'all. Not talk about y'all. I understand completely, man. I I don't know why this is making our feed or why this is news, but uh, I'm not giving a nigga props for the most pass attempts. Do you have some more stats for us? Um, there's not much. I mean, he's it's early. I mean, they just started in the league, so we'll just see what happens as the yeah. years follow. That's it's really just it. He got nine touchdowns and one interception. That's really the whole big deal. Yeah. And cool. it ain't really a big deal. The Lakers waived a few players, <laughs> with one being Scotty <laughs> Pippen Jr. But a discussion that was started was do you feel like NBA legends' children usually succeed well in the league or no? So who got waived Scotty Pippen Jr.? Yeah. It's his yeah. mother. 
<laughs> got nothing to do with Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn well, they don't need that mess at the game, man. He got no time. He got way Bob with T. The Lakers. The Lakers. Yeah. They ain't got yeah, time Palenka for Yeah, Palenka don't want that around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, Jeannie Boston, I don't ain't got time for that nonsense. Laura to 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 Michael Jordan calls Magic Johnson, and Magic Johnson calls Jeannie Buss. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Two calls. That's all it takes. Like, yo, my nigga, we, listen, you're costing your son a job with this public shit. Yeah. Keep, keep the shit under wraps. Now, you know who pissed off? Scotty pissed off. Yeah. Because now. Because now you're affecting my son. It's okay right. that you want to be crazy <laughs> yeah. and stupid. <laughs> you on your Jada picking Bob. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> Don't don't mess with my son. My son ain't got nothing to do with this. I know exactly how he's feeling. And you can just imagine Magic come downstairs. You know, Magic, hey, man, what's up? Magic, love everybody. And you see Scotty like this sitting across side. Sitting across court side like, yeah, I can't. He try to act like he don't see Scotty. Yeah. Like, He's like, yo, we got to get this nigga yeah, out of here. You can't have this nonsense in Yeah, because Scotty won't come to the game. Yeah, and the mother going to come to the game. Exactly. So what do you do? Now, now you got Scotty in the fucked up position, Paul. Because he can't swing on young Jordan. Right. And he, young Jordan don't even look volatile. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations where what team will he go to? Because yeah. this situation may occur no matter what team he goes to. And you can hear about disrespect, but it's something about when you see it. Yeah. Who knows? Scotty, when well, last time I saw Scotty, he was wearing a black ass. Me too. He might snap. Uh, and you know what? He's been, he been keeping this cool for a long yeah. time about this whole He's thing. He's due to have a Kanye moment. Yeah, he, yeah, I agree with that because he has not said anything, but this may be it. Yeah. This may be it. <laughs> My, Mike's just sold his, uh, he just sold his, um, his portion of the team on um, front of Hornets. Yeah, when they start affecting your children, it's way too, it's way too much. Do you think that's why he got waived? Or do you think his skills wasn't up to par? Nah, I actually think he's he he he's gonna be a good player. You know, he he has he has Paul's a mid range game. He can handle the ball. He's definitely a competitor. Any child of Scottie Pippen is gonna be a great competitor. So I just we tried to give you an out. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. We tried to say his skills wasn't up to par. His yeah. Skills is up to par. Yeah, he was Larissa. averaging like twenty two for the for the um G League team. He was getting like probably like six rebounds, five assists every game. So then when you look at somebody balling consistently like that, it's not his talent. He can shoot the three and he defends. So then it comes down to other players, especially young players. And if your mom going to be dating young players, then that's going to be a problem to a locker room. Well, so she, she dating a nigga on the team once? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's seriously, it's seriously causing a problem to the team. My thing is this, too. It, potentially. You know? Right. I have, I have a couple more things to say about this. Two things. <sighs> because... Yeah, and, and just parents can't be sleeping with, with their kids' friends. Well, tell that to Jada Pickett. That's what I'm that's what I was <laughs> saying. Like, yeah. you can't be sleeping with your This going your around. Son. It's yeah. a bug. It's a, yeah, it's a bug going yeah, it's around. Yeah, it's a love there. bug. <laughs> yeah. Yo, bring over your homeboy <laughs> from school <laughs> so I can fuck him. <laughs> that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's two things that I have to say about this boy, and I, I'll leave it with you. It's the last name. Go off and get rid. This is not even your good job. Get rid of the name. name. Be, be Larsa Perez. Perez. Yeah. That, Melendez. Right, yeah. I don't care yeah, what yeah, is yeah, you yeah, go yeah, with. Exactly. Take that right, Pippin off that's your my name. Last name because now it's affecting our child. Secondly, mm -hmm. it's almost like going from Prince to King if she becomes Larissa Jordan. Hmm. This is fucked up, man. It's so Princess Zamunda. <laughs> <laughs> King Jaffe Joe. <laughs> Yo, so We're man. joking, but this is no, not... No, it, this is, I'm this not is humiliating for I'm all joking. of you wives that's doing this. This is crazy. And I know you're going to say that men do it all the time. Men don't do this all the time. You can't bring your daughter over and marry her friend. <laughs> yeah. 
This is this is white people stuff. This ain't black. Yeah, yo, bro. Going from the pimping last name to the Jordan last name is wild in itself. But just thinking about young Scotty with that last name, and like you said, go back to your maiden name. We ain't fucking around no more. Like, yo, this Larissa Pimp. Yeah, yo, Morales. Listen. Yeah, Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez. Yeah. Dominguez. Anything with the Z. Anything with a Z. No disrespect to our Latino friends. You yeah. know, we're just being sarcastic. Or the, or the white people when we say this white people stuff. Man. Yeah, we're just being sarcastic. Yeah. But let me tell you something about this whole situation, right? Talking about Michael Jordan, um, I the name Michael, um, Lil, Lil, what the fuck, Lil Jordan, and Larissa. We was going out on a boat in Miami, right? And mm -hmm. I just missed it, Larry, who found you today. Yo, Larry. Larry, Larry the butcher. No, I was saying we was going out on the boat, and and Larry, I just missed this right after we was talking about Larissa and uh, Lil Mike. I just missed them getting off the boat because um, we was about to go out on the boat. And Larry's like, yo, you just missed them by like three minutes, yo. Larissa and... Larissa and Marcus. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not pronouncing the white name right. No, Lar the... Larissa and Marcus. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Little Mike and Scotty wife. <laughs> baby, baby mother. I'm not, you could try. Yeah. I, I see you trying to signal me. I don't care. Little Mike and... and and Scotty's girl. Scotty joint. Oh, yeah. joint. They getting off the boat, and I just missed them. So Larry seen them. You know what these niggas is doing? Yeah. They got their own paparazzi acting like, oh, we just caught them somewhere. You <laughs> think <laughs> she's calling paparazzi? Larry seen it. He was there. I'm telling you. They caught. They she's cloud chasing? He was with them. That's but they, wow. he, but he, That's one of them joints when they coming back, boys. Yo, just hop out the bushes when when we pull up. Nobody care where y'all niggas at. That's <laughs> like, crazy. Fuck, yo, yo, Marcus. And, you think and, Marcus yo, knows no, listen, what's no, going on? No, what I'm saying is this, right? Because Stavage is trying to tell me. Marcus know, but I think he just get turned out. He one of them niggas that don't look like he get a lot of pussy and she know what she doing. I think that, what I'm trying to say is this, right? Because Stavage is telling me, like, you get the paparazzi call, right? And you be like, Larissa and Marcus is about to die. He's like, who's that? Yo, Lil Mike, Scotty O joint. Oh, all right, cool. You don't yeah. know nobody. Lil Ed Jordan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Larissa and Scotty, fuck is that? I don't know. Mike's son and Scott. Okay, maybe I'll come out tomorrow. Yeah. So they're creating their own narrative with this whole shit. And I think his wife is now costing their son, uh, Scotty's son, a job. Wow. The more you learn. Okay. <laughs> on the topic of NBA players, there seems to be no progress on Clay Thompson's contract extension, meaning there is a possibility he could go into free agency next summer without a deal. How do you feel about this move and how would it affect the Warriors? Um, I think Steve Kerr, they got a new GM over there. I think that's why the GM last, left last year. Mm -hmm. I think Steve Kerr and ownership are going to let the, uh, the ship sink with Draymond, Clay, and Steph. And when I say ship sink, I don't mean in a bad way. I mean till it's all the way over. We going to fuck with these niggas. They've just renegotiated Draymond's yeah. contract. You know Steph is going to get enough. Steph is about 35, maybe about to be 36. He about to get 300 million. You know yeah. I can play it out 42. They have to give him it's whatever not, he it's needs. It's mandatory he's going to get 390 for his till he's into his 40s. Yeah. And I don't think I think the thing is with Clay, I think they're going to end up getting a contract extension sometime during the year. Mm -hmm. But it's only fair with new uh, management that they want to see where he's at physically. He hasn't played his best basketball last year. He's coming off two year injury, two major injuries the last two years. Um, they didn't get past the second round. It isn't about not resigning him for Golden State, in my opinion. It's about how much are we going to give him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we're at. And I think Clay um, wants a lot of money. 
but we are in a what have you done for me lately society yeah. when it comes to sports and we paid you nicely for what you've done and we're willing to pay you more for what you can do and a little bit for what you've done. Yeah. But it's more but about we gotta see what you can do. Right. So I think they they actually got rid of pool was a good sign that they plan on paying them something. But you're right. We gotta see what you do, because getting rid of pool is almost a way to say he may be taking your shot. So we're gonna see what you can do now that you got those shots back. And bringing in Chris Paul makes the the offense more like a spread offense where they can, you know, get the ball and run and pretty much get more shots up. So he definitely has to perform. He said he's listening to Tupac these days. So he said that's what his mindset is right now. But it better be. Well, I don't care what he played to live and die in L.A. I don't care what he played, but he got to play better than he played with the Lakers. It seemed like every against the Lakers, every oh, time they Lakers. played, it seemed like his numbers went lower and lower every single time. One game he had 30, one day he got 15, one day he got nine, <laughs> one game he got eight, and it just seemed like his three-point percentage went lower and lower in that whole series. Listen, man, Klay Thompson is, is had 70 points in three quarters, didn't play the fourth mm-hmm. quarter, still has the record for 37 points in one quarter, which is the most points in a quarter by anybody. Yeah, And that's what a lot of these superstars bank on moving forward. And they like, well, could you do it again? Yeah. It, I don't, we paid you for that. Yeah. Can you do that? Light-skinned niggas listening to Tupac, that's dangerous. Yeah, you light-skinned nigga listening to Tupac. Tupac. Dang- it's that's very only dangerous. dangerous. But, <laughs> and this is a question I had for a lot of people last year, and I'm not sure if I asked you this. I may have asked you this on season one, but mm-hmm. I don't. I don't remember. But, Today, 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 yeah, October 17th or 18th, whatever date it is, yeah, 2023. Who would you rather have, Clay Thompson or Devin Booker? Devin Booker, who would you rather have, Clay Thompson or Bradley Bill? Clay Thompson or Bradley Bill, mm. on which team? Yeah, team, <laughs> you're starting the team. Oh, if I'm starting a team. I probably would take Clay. Okay, that's a, I, that's a tough. If I'm one. starting a team because I I would want I'm from Title Town, so I like to surround my team with people who know how to win. I'm not mad at that answer. Mm-hmm. I'm just asking that because I think Bradley Bill. See, for me, Clay Thompson is this. He's a great shooter. He he. Even the game yeah. he had fucking seventy points. He had eleven dribbles. He dribbled eleven times total for the whole time. Yeah. My thing with Clay Thompson is, and maybe he don't need it. No disrespect, Clay, because I'm a Clay fan. <clears throat> Pardon me. He's never improved dribbling his whole career. He can't get you off him. Yeah. He, you want him? He got this. Maybe one to the side. Yeah. I go with Bradley Beal. Get the yeah. fuck off me, nigga. <laughs> Yo, back up, nigga. Don't, don't. But nigga, what about on defense? Clay, see, Clay, Clay was Thompson. Great, but no, Clay was great before the injury. Now, when you, it's now hard. Now he's to, not able to move laterally. Yeah, I was just fast. about to say that injury that he had is preventing him from moving laterally like he usually was able to do before the injury. And he's getting frustrated by it to where he's arguing with everyone. He's arguing with Phoenix. He's yeah. arguing with Memphis. He's yeah. like, people are seeing the decline. And maybe he's getting stronger this year. And when, that's why we'll wait and see because I'm rooting for Clay. Yeah. But people are seeing the decline. Because of those injuries. And I really believe that if he could get his defense back together, it would help. But I don't know. And it's a bunch of players that I would not pick over Klay Thompson two years ago that I will today. Yeah. I think with with all of this being said and done, that he has even more to prove this year. So I think he'll have a phenomenal year. He better have one. He got no choice if he want that money. Yeah, for but Like real. I said, I think they going down with them three players but it's about how much money they're going to get. And also, the reason I say that they're going down with them three players, because you had Poole and you had Wiggins, and you also had Wiseman to a certain extent, even though he was injured. That could have been your future. Yeah, You just gambled your whole future with these three players and said, this, they got us where we're at, and we're going to ride out with them. And I respect that, too. And the day that they, the day that they don't pay Clay or the day that they trade Clay, that whole thing is over. Because once you start, once you start seeing the original pieces move, it it just it breaks up everything. 
So I think they almost have to do it. But they, like you said, they're trying to see what he does, see if he's really serious about going to the next level. Because, like you said, they paid him for everything he's done, and we still need a future. Right. Right. Let us know what you see happening next for Clay. We're going to go to break, and when we return, we will talk about ESPN's top 10 NBA list. Don't go anywhere. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option. Maybe I'm my own problem, babe. She tired of hearing, I don't know. My stubborn in me won't fall. Oh, oh. Dealing with this thing called trust. But she really thinking about she it. wanna be free. Welcome back. ESPN dropped their top 10 NBA lists in order. It's Giannis, Jokic, Joel Embiid, Luka, Steph, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Shy, LeBron, and lastly, Anthony Davis. How do you feel about this list? Ah, uh, Cam is really going to be mad with me about this. Um, Giannis definitely belongs on that list. Joka definitely on this list. Embiid definitely on this list. Um, Luca definitely Curry, Tatum, mm. um, Durant, yes, Shot, yes, LeBron, hmm, and Anthony Davis. Mm. Now I know there's a lot of people that think Tatum is great, but again, we were talking about not performing when it matters and things of that nature. But he's definitely one of those talents. But if I had to do this li this list over, I definitely wouldn't have um, Anthony Davis and LeBron in my top 10. And that's just my preference. I definitely would have Ja in the top 10. Ja Morant is definitely must-see TV, and it doesn't take anything away from LeBron's greatness. But they got to start with this Anthony Davis stuff. There's no way I put Anthony Davis over Booker right now. Devin Booker belongs in the top 10. If you don't have Devin Booker in your top 10, I don't know what game you're looking at. Is the light skin assassin. This is like this is like Kobe re reinvented. I don't see how he's not in the top 10. Now, when you think of it, Killer, who would you have Anthony Davis in your top 10? I'm trying to pull up the list so I can look at it. I heard it. Yeah. But I want to look at it while I talk about it. Pause. Yeah, Sha. Yeah. All right, let Shy me look at it. I got it right in here. That top 10. You say what? Shy is definitely in the top 10. And and um I don't know. I I I think I think this is the year that we're going to see a change of the gods. I I really believe that. It's time. So I'm looking at the list. I'm I I'm putting the joke at number 1 for four yards. Yeah. Giannis is 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 very good. Joker is one of the most skilled players without being athletic. That's ridiculous. Could dribble, could shoot the three, pass his ass off, uh, score underneath. Uh, until further notice, Joker is the number one player in the world. He should have won the MVP last year. Yeah, and that would have been three times in a row he won. So they didn't want to give it to him. And don't get me wrong, he sat out the last five, six games before the season ended, which gave Joel Embiid the, the, the uh, MVP. But for me, they to me, they didn't want to do that, the NBA, because it would have been like, damn, we ain't giving it out three times in a row. Steph Curry got it two times. Steve mm -hmm. Nash got it two times in a row. I think LeBron maybe two times in a row. I may be mistaken about LeBron, but three times in a row? Yeah. Oh, we can't we can't set this at precedent. That man's supposed to win MVP. So I have Joker number one. Um, I'm not mad at putting Giannis in number two. Giannis to me just has to work on a few things. And be, having Damian Lillard is definitely gonna help um open the floor up for him. Because what happened is Giannis is such a athletic uh freak pause that he comes down and he yeah, knows everything is there. downhill. He, left hand, his downhill game is crazy. Yeah. Left hand, right hand finishing. Uh, still hasn't perfected a mid-range game. Still hasn't perfected three-point game, even though he's got much better at both. 
Um, foul line shots, still taking 12, 13, 14 seconds to shoot the foul line shots, still getting violations at the foul line. But I believe he's the most, most pardon me, athletic guy with his size and height in the league. So I may put him in number two. I'm not mad at that. Joel Embiid, I don't have him in number three. I think he should be in the top ten, but at number three, no, I just this is a this is an order. Yes, I'm reading. Oh the no, order. I would have had way more to say if this was the order. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I don't have Joel Embiid at number three. I believe he should be top ten, but I can't deal with somebody that's seven one and start crying when you lose to uh, Kawhi Leonard in the locker room with the Booger Tears. I can't do that. Yeah. You get exiled for a minute when Booger <laughs> Tears come out <laughs> for losing to Kawhi Leonard. I, You're I just, not giving them no points for passion? No, because he told us respect the process for I don't know how many years and the process is still going on. Yeah. Uh, I can't respect the process at this point. So he would not be number three. I think he's top ten. Luca at number four. I'm, I don't have Luca at number four either. I think Luca is very good. We had this conversation a couple episodes ago where I say I don't think he makes his team better. I think he's a sensational solo talent. Um, six seven, big point guard. I think he's great. Can shoot. Um, not scared of the moment whatsoever. Yeah. I think that I would rank him higher after I see how he plays with um, Kyrie this Kyrie year. Kyrie this year. And then I can make a decision from there. I don't have him number four. You think he's better than Tatum? Luca? Yeah. I think they're both the same. To pr- you have to prove something to me. I yeah. will only put Tatum ahead of him but, but for the reason that Tatum can't get it done when the biggest moments count. But when Tatum goes against other superstars, he got 45, 40. And like Tatum had 50 on Kevin Durant a couple times and pissed me off because you know KD, yeah. my man, I don't like that shit. But it's the facts. And I think when it comes to competing against other superstars, Tatum is phenomenal. When it comes to the moment, that's what we're waiting on Tatum to do, to perform in the moment. So um, I, that's a great question. I don't know who yeah. I will have between Luka and uh, and Tatum, but I don't have Luka number four. And that's good for Tatum. If, you, if you're watching this, we're letting you know that you're constantly being bumped down, pause, because... In the big moments, you're not showing up. We're still waiting for you to show up. Right. Uh, Steph Curry, number five. I'm not mad at that, but I would have him before Luca if you ask me. This is my opinion. Um, Jason Tatum, number six. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, if we're going to title town, I got Kevin Durant's number seven. I got to put him before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to title I got, town. I got KD higher than him. Yeah, KD's higher than Tatum and Luca uh, for me. Um, I got Luca after Ja and Moran. I, and I have him higher than Joel Embiid. Just me personally. Um, I'm, we're going to do, so we're going to do a is what it is top 10 list tomorrow. And we're going to have our top 10, but we're still reviewing this. Um, Shy, I'm going to keep Shy, not, but he's number eight. I'm going to keep him number eight. I think that he didn't have enough national games last yeah. year to, for people to see what he was actually doing. I think he's going to make more noise this year because Chet is back, and I think OKC is going to be watched a lot because I think it's going to be a bigger comparison with Chet and Wimbe than yeah. people are thinking about. I don't think Chet likes the whole Wimbe shit, and I think he's going to have something to say with it. And Shai's a great um, talent as well. Number nine, LeBron James. I'm not mad at, no, at LeBron James. And number nine, I think that what LeBron James has done, and I, I know, like we said, what have you done for me lately? Um, league, but for him to get to the Western Conference Championship last year, yeah, with Anthony Davis and his shenanigans, um, scoring forty here and there periodically when he needed to get there, I'm gonna definitely keep LeBron in my top ten because he's carrying that team at 38 years old, about to be 39 in December. And he's carrying this fucking team. We, they keep talking about, we want to give the team to Anthony Davis. We want to get that. You know, and shout out to my man, Rich Paul. He, um, whoever is Rich Paul's clients, you guys should feel very lucky. He doesn't let nothing slide. He's very passionate about his clients. He'll call and try and check you about his clients. And he called me the other day and he was like, yo, 
or text me. He's like, yo, yo, y'all, y'all kind of went hard on Anthony Davis the other day. Because what happened was, in just in case you guys missed the episode, um, it was a statement where LeBron said that this is the year that they want to hand the team over to Anthony Davis. And we up here, and we, we made a little fun of Anthony Davis. And Rich Paul um, texted me. He's like, yo, you guys were hard on Anthony Davis. That was a little crazy. And I texted Rich Paul back, and, and that's my man. You know, we Ohio and all that. But I texted him back. I said, yo, Rich, man, listen. Maybe I'm just on the outside looking in, but I thought that was the whole reason he left New Orleans anyway. Yeah. You know, he, he stopped playing fourth quarters. Y'all forced a trade. I'm not going to say y'all. He forced a trade. He got to the Lakers. They and forced I, the trade. And, and I thought that that was LeBron saying, okay, cool. I got somebody young on the team. He's, he's a fucking – he used to play point guard. He had a gross spurt, 6'11", shoot the three, mid-range game. Okay, I could defer to him. And this is a four-year project that has not, for him, has not taken the team over. So I relayed that to Rich. And I said, listen, Rich, no disrespect to your client, I get it. But I thought that was the plan from yeah. the jump to give him the team. And LeBron is 30, about to be 39, and still, we still have to go about LeBron giving him the team. LeBron been ready to yeah. defer and give him the team. And then happened. So he just told me, yo, I'm coming on the show. I said, all right. All right. <laughs> so whoever got Rich Paul as, a, as an agent, he loves you guys and he's passionate. But we ain't going to sugarcoat yeah. it. I thought that the nigga with AD was supposed to take the team over years ago. And I'm pretty sure LeBron thought that too. But LeBron's not going to say that publicly because LeBron's the true professional and he's going to say what's right. But, you know, and listen, we talked about the other day. Every time it hit the AD hurt LeBron's face. Yeah. He keep making Marianne do faces. Yeah, because he like, oh, no, I ain't got to go a whole. I wanted to play 67 games. I played 78 games this year. Like, yo, my nigga. It so is if he it doesn't is. show up this year, are you willing to say the process is over like you did for Philly? The process with Anthony Davis? Yes. I've been gave up on Anthony Davis. <laughs> 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 like, yo, yo, yeah. listen, man, I didn't, and I'm not, I'm not going to say Ben, but I'll say is this, I didn't like, and I, I know we, we use a lot of words that people probably are uncomfortable with up here because we nigga niggas, and when I say nigga niggas, we're not going to say what they say on another show, and I don't mean this in any derogatory way, I just don't know another way to say it because I'm from Harlem on Lennox Avenue, the nigga was making googly eyes at the Joker, man. Joker hit a three nigga said. <laughs> I was about to ask you that. <laughs> where, were, where were you when you gave up on, on Anthony Davis? That's it. I was looking on my on my couch, and when it, the Joker hit some wild ass three point shot last year. Look, I you remember can, it. You can probably you yeah, can probably, <laughs> you can probably <laughs> Google step it. Back. He hit a step back. It and was Davis wild. Turned around and said, <laughs> I looked them up and down. I said, what the fuck was that, man? And then they lost. So I, I, that was the point where I was like, yo, nah, it's too much respect going on. Like, give another great example of a, another situation. God bless the dead. Kobe yeah. Bryant being guarded by Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Game on the line. Kobe get the ball, it's a wild three-point shot. Shit going, Dwayne Wade throw his hands up and just walk over like, fuck Kobe. No yeah. disrespect, God bless the dead. But yeah. that was his vibe. Yeah. He wasn't making... Love eyes. He was like, nigga. yo, was that was crazy. crazy. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> That's what his face said, exactly. nigga. That was so, crazy. Yeah, so I, I, you know, I'm not with it, you know. But uh, <laughs> we going to make our own list and come back with it. Let us know your thoughts on the list. We'll definitely come with ours tomorrow. But that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, so much, so uh, big uh, like when they doing them two for five.